Hey, today we want to uh, play a bit with viscosity. So let's create a sphere first, and this will be our outflow um, for the for the liquid. And I use a transform to make it a little bit smaller, the sphere here, like so. And then we move it a little bit uh, upwards. Hello. I don't uh, okay here it is like so and then we create a box as a collision object and um, basically we click this sphere here and click uh, particle emit fluid and hit enter and then we get our networks here and then we click the box and click static okay so we are set up and I wanted to make this video, I, I will do, click the fluid interior, we don't need this here. I want to make the video because I was confused. Because when you look here in the sphere, uh, there's this fluid source created. And here you see um, in, let me see, in particles, you can have viscosity and density activated here. And I did this and it was wrong. So I want to show you how these guys are connected. So what you have to do is go into your network, hit L to get a bit uh, ordered structure here, and then you can go to your flip fluid object here. You can make this bigger. And um, go in here and let me search for this. Go into physical tab and here you have again density and viscosity. So let's um, set this to, I don't know, 10. And in addition to this value here, you have to click into the flip solver and go into, um, into uh, let me see, volume motion. And here you have viscosity and there you have to enable it as well. Um, so this is what we, what we have right now. This should be enough. Let's simulate it. For this, I go upwards and I go into the particle fluid and activate here that we see this and that we see the ghosting and then let's just move it a little bit. Uh, let's increase the frames. And as you can see, it's, it's already like viscous, so it's not that fluid like water. And let's now talk about the settings. Um, you can set the settings here as well. We can use this and this and set something like, I don't know, 50 and here like 200 or something. And what this does is it adds um, attributes to your model. When we go here with middle mouse click, we will see that we have in the three points attribute, uh, a density and a viscosity. And when we uncheck this, we don't have these attributes. And these attributes right now don't do anything. When we just let it run again, it should look exactly the same like before. So why is this here then? The point is that you can go into your DOP network and here in the flip solver, you can say viscosity by attribute. And if you click this, then it will import basically the attributes you set in the other um, fluid object. And if you want to import basically the density as well, then here there's another tab and you can click here, density per attribute. And in theory, now it should look different because we are using different, um, yeah, we are using different values. And as you can see, it's uh, way more thick now. And this is because of the values we set in um, the sphere in the create surface volume in the fluid source here. We can play a bit around here with the density. And does it look different? I hope so. Oh yeah, now it's uh, a bit more flowy again. And uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. I mean, viscosity, it's, it's pretty clear. This is like the thickness of the volume, but here, uh, the density, it says, um, creates an attribute, uh, sets a given value, if the fluid solar has the density, 
if the fluid solver has a density from attribute set, this will be scaled. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, to be honest, I'm not really sure what the density uh, does exactly. I also couldn't find something in the help file. Um, so if you know something, if you have a good definition for that, please let it um, let me know in the comments. But what I can say is that there is a really good um, example for this. When you Google for this, you will find a really nice example. Let's see if I can do this live because there's a video which explains how to set this up um, with Quasity. You just look into help. And here, this video, it's a Vimeo. There, you will get some example values as well for different viscosity sizes, or not sizes, but um, uh, values. Um, but this video didn't explain the connection between this node here and the, the uh, form attribute uh, checkbox here. So I wanted to nail this down in this video. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.